Today we're comparing Figma and its top two competitors right now. One is Penpot and the other is Sketch. These are the most notable ones. Everyone is just spamming on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, everywhere. I have chapters in this video, so you'll be able to kind of jump from chapter to chapter and check out different feature sets and different propositions. So the first one we're looking at is pricing. So with Figma, it's pretty much free from unlimited personal files. But if you're working with teams, etc., it's just free for three files, which in my opinion is not enough for most teams. And almost anyone who's working in a team of two or more will just have to get the premium, which is $12 a month. However, it is $15 a month if you're taking it per month which I think is most people will be doing that. Figma organization on the other hand is expensive at $45 per editor per month, but this is more for larger teams who want a lot of features which the normal tool doesn't offer. And enterprise is just ne next level, $75 per editor per month. This is where it starts getting really, really expensive. For educators as well as students, it is absolutely free. However, even that has some limitations when it comes to the number of files, etc. So you'll get all the features, but the number of files will mostly be limited. Now, Penpot is open source and as well as free. A lot of people think open source means free. No, it's not true. Penpot is a FOSS, which is free and open source tool, at least for now. It's still in beta, so we can't see, we can't say for the future whether it'll be free or paid. However, for now and for the coming future, it is absolutely free. It doesn't have any pricing plans or special tools for enterprise or educators or anything. It's just one tool for everyone, which I, I really appreciate. And a lot of open source tool fans out there will just love this tool. Sketch is where it gets a little interesting because Sketch technically is cheaper for most people. Now, $9 per editor per month is much cheaper than $15 per editor per month. Uh, charged monthly. What's unique about Sketch is that it offers $99 per editor yearly, which I think is great. So it's still much cheaper than Figma. For business, it's $20 per editor monthly. I'm not sure if they're doing anything special for enterprise teams, but from what I can see, it's everything that you would need from an enterprise's side as well built into Sketch. Now let's look at the product offerings in general. What are the products un under each label? In Figma, they have Figma and FigJam. Even under Figma, they have two, three tools. They have the desktop apps for native support. They have mobile apps for just commenting and checking out prototypes, etc., as well as the font installer, which allows you to install desktop fonts. So it's not like Adobe fonts that you can explore fonts out there. I just wish the installer was pre-built into the desktop app. It's just a hassle to have a separate font installer. And with Figma, of course, you have FigJam. I think FigJam is a whole cluster of tools inside it, but FigJam is the second tool that they have. Penpot is pretty straightforward. It is just one tool for everybody. So they'll have teams ranging from product managers to designers to developers, and they have something for everyone. Commenting system, handoff features, everything is basically built in. So, and again, it's, since it's web only, they don't have a native app. And unfortunately, they don't have a mobile app as well. I'm sure they're developing something right now, but nothing that is out there in the website. Sketch is really good with the tool sets as well. It has a native app built for the Mac as well as M1 support. So uh, native apps will be will look much closer to the whole Mac ecosystem and work better, smoother and easier as compared to a uh, app like Figma, which is running through the browser itself. They even have a separate dashboard for the web experience. So you'll have a web experience where teams can join in, look at the designs, comment, give feedback, share libraries, etc., on the web itself. So you don't need the native sketch app as well as the preview for iPhone. So the disadvantage here is that they don't have preview for Android or any other operating system. They only have apps for the Apple ecosystem in general. Now let's, now let's come to the design process of all three tools. Figma definitely focuses on three things, design, prototype and handoff. So under design, it has really cool things like making these cool arcs and shapes which a lot of tools might have missing. Uh, it also has auto layout. Everyone loves auto layout as well as smart animate and other unique features just to it. The smart animate is not just smart animate. It also has custom easing now. 
So you can basically change the easing values and animation values, which you can't really do with most of the tools out there. The handoff features are pretty cool too, but they're pretty basic. As of now, I've seen some tools hand off like bosses. Since FigJam is so closely integrated with Figma, I think it's a part of Figma at this time. This supporting the research phase, wireframing phase, as well as the design phase. So Figma right now is the only complete whole tool from start to finish. I also like the simplicity of the design system manager built into Figma. It's generally simpler than most DSMs out there in the sense that people don't need to learn too much about design system managers. All the DSM features are working in slew with the design process. So rather than having a design system manager, which is kind of separate, they've kind of inbuilt it into the normal natural process, which has made lives easier, which I think is wonderful. Also with extensive properties now switching between different designs and the system elements will be much much easier a lot of people are excited for this feature since it's been introduced in beta apart from that it also has a dashboard of sorts where you can check how users and designers inside your company are using these files it's like it has graphs and charts and statistics and it can also help companies and teams keep a track of how that tool is being used and manage and adjust the tool preferences based on that. Penpot is pretty much straightforward. Penpot is four to five years late to the game in the sense that it has features that Figma, Adobe XD, all these tools had when they started off. Things like smart layout, auto layout, all of these things are here. So you won't miss anything if making the switch as well as feedback and comments are also very similar to every other tool out there. It also has design system manager or library and templates as they call it. I like how they have this dev diaries so you can check out what's new in the latest updates right from here. Where it lacks is the prototyping features are very basic and straightforward. Things that you would have found on Figma XD sketch maybe three or four years back. They have a lot of ground to cover, but, but if you're a learner, a student, even a designer who doesn't use those extensive features, Penpot is still a great alternative. Sketch is where it gets in a little more interesting again. It offers some things that even Figma can't. The native app is built so in slew with the Mac as well as the entire Apple ecosystem that just works so smoothly and well all across your Apple devices. Everything that you expect from the Apple ecosystem is right here, including the design. The design of the tool itself is closely linked with what Apple offers. Coming from a enterprise sketch version user when I was working with companies, the design system manager is just next level because it works so smoothly between cloud as well as the native app and the design system manager is much more has a lot more organization features a lot more keeping up features as compared to figma even though figma has come a long way the prototyping is also pretty good allowing you to animate and transition quite smoothly and even use the whole ios transitions and controls much better since it is in the mac os also, it has stuff like P3 color support. I'm not a color expert, so I won't go into that. But what I've heard, the P3 color support as well as the other color options out there is much more powerful than Figma or any other tool. And if you go check out their website for what is supported on na native Mac OS, you can see it supports a lot of hardware stuff like touch bar support, local document versioning, built-in spell check and RTL support. So all these things which are built into Mac is supported here, which Figma lacks. Now let's look at the community aspect of things because I know community is something very close to my heart in Figma at least. Special thing about Figma community is that everyone can contribute. So there's something being uploaded every minute or two. Apart from that, official companies have created assets and resources resources for you guys to use. For example, Microsoft has its own page on Figma and you can see all the resources and plugins that it has to offer as official plugins and resources, which I think is really cool and missing from everywhere else. The plugins are so, so many out there that it's almost endless for both Figma as well as FigJam. Not just plugins, there are widgets as well now. So plugins also work well, widgets also work well. What's not to like about the community here? And every time the community finds a problem, they try to solve it through a plugin or a file out there. So I think it's really cool. And the fact that Figma has made it open for developers to test out new features, to tweak their tools and software offerings, 
is what makes Figma super powerful above and beyond what they originally offer. Ah, Penpot is where the community gets different. Not less, but different. Penpot is a very community focused tool since it's open source, they want people to contribute. So not only do you have assets and resources made, it, made inside uh, Penpot and you can utilize it and there are tutorials and stuff. There are people literally writing articles here. There are literally people discussing on terms, etc. Like you would generally find on a community platform. This is something which is super missing from Figma communities. They're not a true community. It's just a platform for resources and assets. So Penpot really takes the lead here with the community, which I don't know how but they've managed to just have this dedicated loyal community that just contributes to everything here. And you won't find anything missing from, from even a newbie tool like Penpot or a tool which isn't really that mainstream right now. Sketch is interesting because not only do they have like courses and assets and everything out there, they have blogs, they have events and meetups. Apart from that, they also have something called extensions. So where Figma's plugins, Sketch has extensions. Extensions are somewhat more powerful as compared to plugins because extensions have full ease of access to everything on Sketch. So you'll find extensions which are which are tool altering in a way. Explaining it is a little tough, but when you start using it, it's a whole new experience. Apart from that, Sketch is also promoting developers building for its platform. So you'll see more coming in the future as well. However, yes, if you want that endless list of plugins, that's not something that you're finding here. It's more useful plugins over endless list of plugins. As you can see right here, Sketch is a little more business and team centric than anything else. Now, what makes these tools special, in my opinion, is very specific. Figma is made special because of its community as well as its direct simplicity when it comes to just external extensions and workflows and everything. It just sticks to the basics and does it very well. Apart from which they are also focused on providing an open platform. Anyone can do anything that they like. So there are people literally creating illustrations on Figma and that whole attitude has changed the way people look at Figma. Also, it's much more experimental in nature. They'll experiment with new features. They'll bring new stuff which you never really expected or you never even thought you wanted until you started using it. Now, Penpot doesn't have way too much going for it as compared to the other mainstream tools. What Penpot has for going for it is something people don't see just by opening the website. It's the fact that it's open source People can literally take the code and make the tool their own because Penpot provides that openness that people can edit it on their own and not get sued for it. As well as the code, code is available everywhere. So you, everyone can just look at the code and see what's going for the tool. And that could be their winning grace in this battle of the design tools right now is the open source aspect. Sketch is a unique case here. Sketch is a tool that I really want to love, but the whole pricing aspect of it, what's unique about it and what's going for it is the way that it treats its team users. The whole unique dashboard on the web, as well as, as, well as all the Mac OS only features really has something unique going for it. Why I like the Mac OS only features right here is because I am a full Mac user. Now I left out a lot of tools because they had features and overall design processes very different. And their entire offerings also being made was super, super different. All right, so hit the subscribe button guys for videos like this every single week. I do stuff every week. Also like the video if you did, that really helps motivate. I'll see you in the next video, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.